So, we can't read a newspaper over someone's shoulder from space. Nope. Um, now, as astronomers, of course, we're interested in looking generally out rather That's than right. back. The Earth That's scientists right. are interested in looking down, not to mention the spies, but let's we'll focus on story. looking out. That's right. So, is there a similar sort of resolution issue when you're trying to look at things out in space? It kind of is. You know, we see pretty images and we see all this great detail, but you have to realize, you know, we're seeing some detail, but of something billions of kilometers away, so you're never going to see that great resolution. So, the moon's a good example here. So, people landed on the moon, great, they put up a flag. There's always a famous question people say, why can't the Hubble Space Telescope take an image of the flag? Okay, so let's find out. All right. So, the flag is only, it's only about uh, tens of centimeters wide, right? You know, there are a weight limit, as we talked about before. You're not bringing a 100-meter flag to put on the moon. And it's also sticking vertically, not laid out horizontally. Exactly. So, it's not going to be that easy. Now... Some have uh, orbiters around the moon have imaged some of the past landing sites. So this is from Apollo 17. Uh, you can see the tracks of the, the moon buggy, um, one of the descents that crashed. Uh, they even think they can see an astronaut footpath, though I can maybe make that out. And the flag, they say, is right there. Uh, well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think they have a bit of a, we know the location of where it is. What is the image showing us? Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, this is from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. So this is going around the moon. Um, and like those Earth observation satellites, it's looking at the moon. And it only has about a 20 centimeter telescope in here. Mm -hmm. And because the moon doesn't really have an atmosphere, you can actually orbit quite low to the moon and still stay in orbit. It's about 50 kilometers above the surface. Okay, so if we do the calculation here, uh, it's working at visible wavelengths. Yep, visible You've got wavelengths. You've quite a small diameter of the telescope, short wavelength, but you're not that far away. And what do we get? At best, if it's perfectly situated and the optics are built without flaw, you can see 16 or so centimeters. The reality of how they operate is about 50 centimeters as we explore. They probably chose to have bigger pixels so they can cover more of the moon. Exactly. And so when we go and look back at that image, uh, okay, maybe that means the flag is about one pixel. So they're so the probably flag... seeing a smudge around it. This is probably just all where the soil has been mucked up by astronaut footprints. Exactly. And that's actually much more visible than the flag. That's right. So you can understand, all right, the flag is 50 centimeters. It's a small telescope orbiting around the moon. Can't see much. Well, what happens if instead of this pathetically small 20 centimeter telescope on the lunar reconnaissance orbit, so we went with something being like 2.3 meters on the Hubble Space Telescope? Hubble's yes. good, right? Hubble is good. Uh, James Webb is better as well yeah. at six and a half meters. Oh, yeah, okay, definitely. Let's jump Yes. That. Now, as we've explored, it's looking towards the infrared and mid infrared. So you. Your wavelengths. Wavelengths are a bit bigger. So uh, that's going to be a bit worse. So instead of half a micron, you're out. Uh, I think the about, so it can go all the way up to like 10 or 20 microns. That's right. Let's yeah. say we're going at about two microns, which is about yep. the shortest it would normally work at. Yep. So that means you're going to be about four times worse. But you've gone from 20 centimeters to six and a half meters, which it, is a big improvement. It so is. it should do much better. It's except where it's, it is. It's further away. It's that's not the problem. It's not in a low orbit around the moon. No, that's right. It's about 1.2 million kilometers away from the moon. <laughs> which means that with our new big fancy $9 billion telescope, we can only see about a quarter of a kilometer resolution. So you're not going to see the flag. You're not even going to see most of the area. Now, if we did use Hubble, now, as you said, Hubble is a smaller mirror, but it's much closer, right? So it's closer and it's working at visible wavelengths, so it's a bit shorter, so that gives it some pluses. As it does. And even in that case, you're only seeing 115 meter resolution. So. The fact is, even though if you put a really big telescope there, if it's still really, really far away, you're not going to really see that much. So if we put James Webb Space Telescope and made it work at optical wavelengths and put it 50 kilometers over the moon's surface, yes, you'd get beautiful Ooh, images of the moon. That's right. But, but they didn't. <laughs> but they did it, and I don't think we would get $9 billion just to do that experiment. Yes.